Hi and welcome everybody. I would like to today show you some of the basics of how to adjust your baitcast conventional reel according to the type of bait you are throwing today. So stay with us, stay tuned, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. First thing of all, uh, this is um, a conventional, aka bait casting reel, and a lot of people doesn't like using this because you get what we call the bird's nest after you cast, and the line just kind of ravels all over the place, and then you can't use it anymore. Throw something light as this by adjusting your your reel, and how to adjust it is not with your drag but this little thing right here if you could get a really good look at it and almost every reel of uh, big casting conventional reel has this part right here basically what it does if you adjust it by tightening it or loosening it you could adjust the reel according to what you are throwing so every time when you change your bait if it's light or heavy you could adjust it so what you want to do is first Put on your bait and then now your reel you're gonna open your bail when, when, when i say open your bail you're gonna like that so you're gonna open and then now your bait's gonna naturally fall okay so you want to hold here with your thumb and then now i'm gonna reel up as you can see my bait naturally fell and what happens is i already have this set up but once you drop you want your bait to naturally fall and without here becoming all ravel, all scrambled up. So this is made very well. So let's say I tighten this a lot. So I'm gonna turn this a lot. So now if I were to open, it's not gonna fall anymore. As you can see, my bait's not falling. Even though the bail's open, I'm gonna have to move it around in order for it to even fall a little bit. So that's not even gonna work. So if I were to cast this, it's not gonna go anywhere. As you can see, it didn't move. So if you're uncomfortable casting a bait cast reel for the first time, I recommend you tightening this a lot and start practicing casting. So next of all, what you wanna do is open now it's tight, obviously your bait's not falling. You can start putting this down and then you start seeing your bait start dropping. And from that point, as soon as it stops, that is a good sign. That's exactly where you want your bait to be at. But if it starts raveling up like that, that is where you must hold your reel to cast. So now that is where it's loose. So if I were to now cast this, it'll do what we call the bird's nest. So you must always hold your reel in order to prevent that from happening. Comfortable with your bait or your reel getting all tangled up, always make sure to double check your bait, dropping, your thumb on the reel and if you're unsure that you're gonna always keep your thumb on the reel tighten it just a tad bit more than usual and if it's not dropping just open it up just a little bit more let it drop slowly and wait for it to stop and it stops on the dime you're right there then cast and it'll stop right there and you're right there with the bait casting you'll never have any problems with your reel ever again every single time when you change a bait you're going to be a changing your adjustment applies to any bait cast reel so 
conventionals, bigger ones, smaller ones, it doesn't matter, they should all have this adjustment. So that's how you adjust your reel to your bait. If you like this video today, please like and subscribe and comment and please share so everyone will be having a better fishing experience. And see you again on another episode of Recast Fishing and SoCal.